Hey Leo, let's see what's coming your way for the month of May. So first we have the card of discipline, training, consistency, and practice. So quite literally, some of you may be practicing a skill or really thinking about honing a certain hobby, skill, doing a training course of something. You know, you're wanting to get better at something. It could be something as simple as like, I I keep, I keep reading um, tweets of people who are like wanting to get into Pilates and they're like, damn, I didn't know Pilates was like a military training exercise. So something I'm, I'm hearing something like that. Right. Um, and people being like, like, I, I went to the gym and now it's my last day of going to the gym. So I see you, Leo, doing something to try and get better at something. It doesn't have to be skill or money related. Not everything is about that. But it could be something as simple as I want to cook better. I want to, you know, uh, speak to myself better. So I want to listen to affirmations or something. You're trying to do some form of self improvement, but understand that whatever it is you want, it is going to take habitual action. Okay, habits are what make a lifestyle with a seven of wands here. You need to be overcoming certain obstacles. It's not just going to happen overnight as much as we want it to. It'll have to happen over a period of time. Now, we also have here the Knight of Cups, which could mean a romantic interest. Now, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and we have the discipline card here. And then you can see these two people kind of putting a stop or saying like setting a boundary. There's a boundary setting situation in terms of a relationship that has to happen in the month of May. But from the looks of it, OK, how you handle this is what's going to determine the outcome of things. Meaning what? Meaning this doesn't mean a breakup. It can mean an argument or a miscommunication. But the way you handle it will determine whether this is going to be a short term fight or a long term breakup. OK, some of the people for some of you, you could look like the people on these cards. Right. Uh, or this person also. You could also have red streaks in your hair because I see that here or someone could have a connection to cats, music, the violin or like just playing music instruments as well. Could have the number seven or July being relevant. Some of you could be in an age gap relationship as well. Someone could be dealing with a water or earth sign also anyway, or someone could be age 34. It feels like we've hit a brick wall in terms of understanding each other in a relationship. And we feel like, are you listening at all or what? You know, so someone here is needing to change their approach. Looks like it's done. I'm hearing like it's done. You're done playing Mr. Nice Guy. I'm hearing that. I'm done playing Mr. Nice Guy. Um, like I have to be tough about the situation and really set a boundary because if not, this person's not going to listen to me. Um, I'm also thinking someone here has some jealousy issues, but in terms of like a friend. So I'm seeing these three people here, right? But clearly, like, I mean, just um, this is based on what I feel, right? In this scenario, this can be read differently, of course, but in this particular um, reading, these two guys feel to me like they're friends. And then the girl is like, when well, you're hanging out with your friends, what about me? Right. So there's that kind of situation going on. So I don't know. It looks like there's a boundary that needs to be set there. Um, or, yeah, I do feel like there's a, some form of a third party here, but it feels like it's not necessarily romantic. Something like, oh, like, why are you telling our relationship details to your friend? I'm your partner. Why do you spend so much time with this person? You know, like, you didn't even spend time with me last time. There's something, there's an issue like that. Okay. Anyway, um, so here's the thing. You can look at this card, too, and there's a storm here, right? So this kind of argument is still kind of coming up ahead, but it's not impossible to get through this. It's just that we have to talk it out and we have to make sure that we stay on topic. Because I, I hear someone bringing up old issues and being like, this is my problem with you and this and this and this and this and this and then and then we've hit someone below the belt and now we can't take back what we said and now it's a bigger argument. OK, stay on topic. If things get brought up, they can get brought up, but we've got to try our best not to let it tear us apart. Your team, you're working together on this and try to resolve it in that sense. OK.
whatever this is, if there's an issue, overcome it together rather than, than apart. You think the time off is going to solve it, but it's not. It's actually going to make it not necessarily worse, but if you push each other away, it will definitely make it worse. Okay. That being said, for everybody else, if you're not dealing with a relationship or your relationship is fine, right? This could be a message that's coming for select people. I still see that you may be trying to look into something in your life that you're passionate about. Okay. And almost like you're trying to fight for something you're passionate about. Okay. Here's what I feel. All right. Uh, for some of you, Leo, depending on what your goals are, you need to prioritize because I'm feeling some of you, well, you're Leo. So definitely you're into something career wise that motivates you or is exciting to you, but it may, it might be a little bit boring these days. So an example of this would be if someone keeps fighting for a project they have in mind, but it's over budget, we're losing money instead of making money from this business decision. But we're fighting for this because it's our passion and we're excited for it. However, it's not necessarily the smartest business decision. So you've got to make a priority or at least make a choice in the moment. It doesn't have to last forever, but at least for now, what's your priority? Because if you've got the money to make this last and it's perfectly fine, then you can keep going. But if you don't have the money for this, we might have to do the responsible thing, at least for now, and set aside something that we're super, super passionate about, but kind of stay on a course where we can be disciplined and earn what we need or kind of get ourselves in a more stable position and then pursue the path we're passionate about. Okay. There's a lot of reevaluation about priorities here, Leo, but at the end of the day, like it says here, discipline is what's most important. And the key words are training, consistency, and practice. You'll figure it out. And also, not everything is a black or white solution or a black or white answer. There's going to be a very good middle ground if you allow for there to be. Okay? If you want to book a reading with me, make sure you book me at mediumsisabella.com. I will see you next month. Bye, Leo.